Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of Beauty News. This is a June 23rd edition. Fuck yes. And this will be the last episode that we film in Japan. Mm -hmm. However, there will be more Japan content coming up, yep. including vlogs, hauls, stuffs. So Unboxing those little boxy yes, things. Yes, we bought a bunch of them. We're actually going to try and film that today. Yeah. So. Also... We're thinking because Haley went nuts with Kit Kats. I bought, I think, oh, about yeah. four to five different types. I think I bought like eight. ten. Yeah, maybe ten. And if I see more today, I'm going to buy them too. Yeah, so we're thinking of doing a strange Kit Kat taste, taste test. test. Yes. We thought that might be fun. Yeah, Japanese just a little content. bit of like bonus, mm -hmm. probably weekend content. Yeah. It's not beauty related, but it's just beauty news having fun kind yeah. of deal. We're also thinking that July might be. Japan month. Yeah. So we've picked up four products to destroy. Yes. So all of the d the makeup breakup videos in July will be Japan related, uh -huh. which will be fun. Uh -huh. Um and yeah, we'll just finish off doing the vlogs. They take longer than I thought. Honestly, how do daily vloggers do it? No, I don't know how daily vloggers Fuck get man. it done. I know for sure it's not something that mm. I will ever attempt. Oh, is it yummy? Delicious. Holy shit. Oh, yum, 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 yum. It's like orange and black currant. That's beautiful. So that's here in Japan, let's just show you guys these. Um, you can buy alcohol pretty much anywhere. You can drink it on the street. You yeah. can drink it on the trains. You can, like, it's fine. The um, drinking laws are very relaxed and there's no problems. Like, everyone is very well behaved. You literally get these for under $2 yeah. at, like, 7-Eleven, Don Quixote, fucking supermarkets, anywhere you go. These are fucking delicious. And these are really delicious. They're like 3% alcohol, so they're very low alcohol content. You can pretty much drink them all day and you're guaranteed no hangovers. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's orange and black currant. This one's lychee. They had have an apple, apple one yesterday. They have all sorts Melon. of citrus oh. flavors. They're absolutely delicious. And honestly... I I am kind of shocked that I've not seen something like this in Australia yet. Yeah, we have very alcoholic things and very sweet, sickly yeah, things. These, these are, really refreshing. are refreshing. These are almost like a soft drink. They don't taste like alcohol. They're great. Or like a flavoured soda water. Yes, that's that's a better way to put it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, flavored soda water. we're hitting it up. It's early, but... We are. It doesn't look, matter. we're here for another day. We're going to exactly. finish the drinks in the fridge. We're going to fucking live it up. Two um, more days. Yeah, so essentially... Okay, the structure is, I know we're waffling, but, you know, it is what it is. The structure is, um, we're back to normal on Monday, so mm -hmm. we'll have Beauty News updates back in Melbourne on Monday. We're filming this one a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. because of the travel and whatnot, so yeah. there will probably be a lot of stuff that we miss out on. Yes. So Monday's edition will probably be the stuff we missed out plus updates. Yes. But then it'll be back to normal next week. It will. Hooray. Excellent. I'm looking forward to going back to normal. Yeah, I think I am too. Well, you mm. get into a routine and then when you're on holiday, it's like everything just goes to shit. Yeah. So, fun shit, but yeah. yeah. So we're going to start off by talking about two sales that have recently happened. Mm -hmm. The Body Shop was purchased by Natura Cosmeticos. Yep. Great name. Um... So it's been sold to the parent company of Aesop for $1.6 billion. Um, and I think we both feel like this is a good move. Yeah, I think so far, because they sold it, it was from L'Oreal. Yes, L'Oreal sold it. it to the people that own Aesop. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the it's a smart move, well, it's a smart move selling it because the body shop is pretty much going downhill. And no matter what they do, I think they... Like, they can bring out all these gift packs and all this kind of stuff around mm -hmm. Christmas and try to create a buzz, but at the same time, it doesn't make up for the lack of sales throughout yeah, the year. So, I, I think they are kind of like a sinking ship, so it's good to get rid of them. Mm. But it was it's also really smart that a company that owns Aesop can buy them because I think the body shop is really out of touch. I agree. I don't think uh, L'Oreal really... L'Oreal is not doing the brand justice. Mm -hmm. um, I think the body shop, you know, people are excited about the body shop because it was 
a bit more natural Correct. and 20 years ago 20 yeah exactly i mean we're going back a long time and in that time it has just devolved into i think it's just stagnated though it hasn't yeah. kept up to date with like technologies no what is actually natural these days exactly and what's more pure yeah. and i think people look at it and they go that's that, that's essentially sugary shit yes and if i wanted sugary shit i'd go to like I don't know, fucking soap and glory. So, exactly. Um, because I, it's cheap and... Yeah, it's cheap yeah. and it's sugary, sh fun shit. Yeah. So I think ha having a brand, having a company that can manage something like Aesop that is a lot more, like, probably down to earth and yeah. well respected. Yeah. I think if they can follow that through mm -hmm. into the body shop and change its direction, I reckon they could... It's going to do... Yeah, they yeah, could it's actually gonna be better for the it. brand. Because I know when the body shop opened up 20 years ago, it was like, you know, everything was fruity and yeah. delicious and all that stuff. And that did feel more natural. Yeah. However, nowadays, it's not. It's no. like you said, it's sugary shit. Like, yeah. it's cheap and nasty kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'd be interested to see if Aesop does anything to sort of revive the brand and... Um, I suppose their initial um, goal with their yep. natural products. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. But I think it's also important to note that I think they sold the whole company. Yeah, it's, it's not, gone. It's not as if it's like, oh, you get a portion and no. if that just means you get a portion of the proceeds. They're literally like, take this piece of shit. Yeah, we Whereas can't deal the with next it. one we're talking about, they sold a controlling share. Yes. So they didn't sell it all. The yep. next one is, and a lot of people are shitty about this one yeah fair enough um decium yes <laughs> um decium which is a company that has it's an umbrella company that has a lot of different brands mm -hmm. hand chemistry yeah um Nyod. yeah what's that uh the ordinary oh yes the ordinary buzz buzz buzz, 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 buzz. the ordinary yep. so all these big brands um what's a hylamide all yep. those brands are under the Decium umbrella. Yeah. And the, the thing that fucking irks me about this... Okay, so they sold it to Estee Lauder. They did. So what irks me about this, and what irks a lot of people about this, Decium is a brand that is like a... Almost like a rebel company. Yes, where, I would agree. Yeah, the guy that started it, he actually worked for big places like Estee Lauder mm -hmm. and didn't like the marketing tactics and the fact that all their money went into packaging and all that kind of stuff and decided to do what he how he wanted the makeup industry to be or the beauty industry to mm -hmm. be which is more about science and you know advancing technology and um, well-priced good quality products yeah and all that kind of stuff and now all of a sudden he's backflipped and sold it to Estee Lauder I know I remember when we went to the launch of the Decium brand in Melbourne yeah. a couple of years ago and I was like oh this is so exciting this guy yeah. seems really passionate about like changing, changing things, for things. The better. and you fucking sold it to Estee Lauder mm. like Honestly, I think that will be uh, the downfall of Decium. I agree. And also, I, do think it, it, it's I don't just, think it'll be immediate. I think no. it'll take time, but I think pretty much everything under that umbrella company is just going to... But the thing that's really irritating as well, and I guess it's a good time to sell because The Ordinary has taken off as being like the new thing. Yep. The new... It's like everyone's excited about what's coming out from the, they the, are. the ordinary yeah. and now all of a sudden people are going to turn off them because um like even though they might still be cruelty free a lot of people believe that if the umbrella company now being Estee Lauder yeah is m earning money from these brands and they aren't cruelty free then technically the brands under them aren't cruelty um, free yeah that just is dependent on how you how you feel about cruelty yes. free I personally still think a brand's products can be cruelty free even though some of the money it's, goes to it. Yeah. It's sort of like saying, um, say if Lush was owned by 15 people yeah. and one of them was a meat eater, yeah. does that mean it's not a cruelty-free brand? Yes. Like, it's just up to you how yeah, you feel. it is. But it's, it's going to turn off a lot of people. It will. Absolutely it will. People will be pissed off because a lot of people love to hate Estee Lauder. They just do. Or it's just big, big, big corporations. corporations. Yeah. yeah. So... And Decium was one of the little guys that felt like that, like it kind of felt like they were fighting for the consumers. Yes. And they were even taking technology that brands like Estee Lauder and L'Oreal had and had patented, patented, I can't patented, patented, <laughs> um, 
they like they might go, oh, this technology we're using for this eye cream or this moisturizer, and Desium would take that technology and put in a hand cream. Yes. So they go, okay, well we can use it in a different form. Yeah. But so we'll make a really kick-ass hand cream, and that's yep. what they did with hand chemistry. Yeah, I know. So they're and doing all these like stuff. shifty little things, and then all of a sudden they're just like backflip. Let's go fucking sell it to the people that we were like trying to. Tell them to go fuck, fuck yourself. themselves. Yeah, I know. Look, it, it's interesting. Anyway, let's move on. Yes. Um, talking about Estee Lauder. <laughs> this one's a fun one. I kind of, I, I'm sure we predicted this. We did. We did. Okay, so Estee Lauder has dumped. Dumped. I like that word. Yeah. Dumped the Estee Edit. Yeah. So um, essentially they're saying that it's not necessary anymore, um, but we... A reading between the lines and saying uh, and assuming that they didn't sell very well. Mm-hmm. Um, now, essentially, if you don't know what the Estee Edit is, it's a um, sister company to, to Estee Lauder or yep. sister brand to Estee yep. Lauder. Um, it was marketed to millennials mm-hmm. and it was faced by Kendall Jenner. Mm-hmm. Now, this is released just over a year ago. And it was released in Sephora. Yes. And it was essentially a way to get younger people that like the kind of trends to start buying Estee Lauder products. Mm. Because Estee Lauder, even though they have good products, they're kind of seen as being a bit of an older person brand. Yes, they are. Um, So they tried to jazz it up repackage it, make a black lipstick, a yellow lipstick, and fucking stupid shit. shit. A bronzer that sold in Australia for like $160 or something. Yeah. No, no, that was the that was the Victoria Beckham one. Oh, it was too. Yeah, we didn't I'm get getting... the, we didn't get the estate edit here. No, we didn't. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm majorly confused. Yeah, no, the SA edit they, they the prices were still high, but they had things like stick primers or they had a lot of like gimmicky Junk. shit. I remember looking at they had like a charcoal cleanser or cleanser soap. Yeah. And it was like fifty dollars. I'm like, you're paying fifty US dollars for a cleansing like a soap. I'm like, fuck, man. So they were making gimmicky shit, and clearly it didn't work. Yeah. They are saying that it's no longer necessary. I'll get fucked. It failed. It failed. You're no longer necessary because it wasn't working. Exactly. Moving on. It does say here that they had predicted they would make sixty million dollars in sales in the first twelve months. Sorry, fucking burp. light cheese alcohol burp. Um. And I would look. I, no, it didn't make. That I would. Much. I would place bets that 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 didn't happen. No, I agree. And there was. I did when this first was released. I did see a lot of reviews, and people were pretty much going, eh, "This is good. This is not so good. I like this. Wouldn't recommend this." Some of their lip products I heard good things about. Other stuff, people were just like, "Eh." So um, I think it was a bit of a bomb, and they're pulling it before it um, sinks more money. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is exciting. Well, for me, because I thought it was stupid to begin with. Um, yeah. And I, I just think that Estee Lauder need to bring out fresher products they to get do. people to come in, not like a whole gimmicky new range. Yeah, I think the whole like new range targeted at a younger generation is a bad move mm-hmm. because you have to invest so much money to get that shit on the che- on the shelves. I wonder how much money they paid Kendall Jenner to. Exactly. Like, Ugh. I... Just, Hideous. you know, I, I don't get it. Alright, so speaking of the Jenners and the Kardashians, mm-hmm. um, we talked a lot about Kylie last week, but this week we're talking more about Kim. So we did say that last week that she's launching KKW Beauty. Mm-hmm. That kind of annoys me because my initials are KW. Ah, every time I see it, I'm like KKK. Mm-mm. Oh, well, that's, that's yeah, fair I enough. Yeah, I know, I know that's, but that's just, that's, like, you, yeah, what is, that's um, what it brings to mind. Yeah, so this is releasing on the 21st of the of June, June. so mm-hmm. by the time this video is up, I'm sure there'll be a lot to update in Monday's updates episode. Absolutely. But what we have right now is that they're going to bring out cream, contour, and highlight kits. Yes. Now, essentially what these are, they come in light, medium, dark, and deep dark. Um, and they look to be sticks, like 
potentially a double-ended contour stick and a double-ended highlight I stick. I think that's what's going on. And then I think you get it with an applicator, which is a brush, or like a buffing brush on one end and a sponge on the yes. other end. The I think that's what so the... Bad. Yeah, it looks like a sex toy. It does. Um, and we know because we've been in Japan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. They advertise them on billboards. They do. If we were allowed to film in the sex shops, we would have oh, done it. Oh, we would have done it. Yeah, but we, they are like, have, like they're no really camp- strict. And it's yeah. really cramped. And yeah. yeah. Anyway, we were there. Mate. My, 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 they've my. got some interesting shit. <laughs> yeah, they do indeed. So, yeah, cream contour and highlighter kits. We've got some swatches on the screen. Um, it looks to be like the light one has a kind of champagne highlight shimmer. Mm-hmm. A kind of just a like cream a, highlight. Like a pinky, yeah. Like a non-shimmery. Of, yeah, a bit more of a cool base type thing. Yeah, and then like a warmer and a cooler... Uh, contour set. stick and then the medium has a similar thing so it's got one shimmer one matte for the highlighter and then a deep and a cooler not a cooler deep and a lighter mm. um, contour same thing goes for the dark and then the deep dark is super deep dark I will say I'm totally going to give props on yeah. the deep dark yeah it looks, I agree it looks potentially useful yeah for like, people with deep skin people with deep skin would struggle big time with oh contour God, so this is great because it's super dark mm-hmm. and the highlighters look great the yeah. cr- like the matte highlighter um looks like nice peachy color mm-hmm. and then the shimmery one is a really gorgeous kind of deep champagne color beautiful so mm. now that with the shades yeah. oh an update that i do want to say though a few people were like Oh, Kim is um, competing with her sister, da 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 da, made by the same factory. Yep. All of so, this is under the ColourPop kind of factory yes. and um, labs. Yep. So, so it's uh, Seed Beauty Manufactures yep. and it's made locally in California. Yep. And uh, I honestly, I don't think they're going into this as a competition type thing. No. It's just money 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 correct it'd be like if i started a makeup brand and mm-hmm. it was doing well and i said hayley hayley come on these are my connections yeah you can make money too yeah and that's essentially what they're doing yeah. and i think they're choosing to make products that are different mm-hmm. so they're not competing mm-hmm. but i do believe also that the lip gloss kit that she made with kylie cosmetics was testing the waters for her i would agree product. i would agree because it's the same color packaging it's the same font yeah so i think it was just a little teaser so yeah. um yeah interesting do you think it's a good idea that they both have their own brand if they want to make double the money yes yes personally um, i am predicting that within maybe the next couple of years the kardashians and jenners will probably go out of fashion yeah and it'll be someone else which happens it it always happens it's like they can you know, sell it on they can totally sell it on but like people who are in the limelight and hugely yeah. popular they it's it's like everything they peak and then they ebb off and i, I do think, agree yeah but i do think also at least with kylie cosmetics mm-hmm. i think it's now its own thing yes whereas a lot of people who don't even know about kylie jenner or like kylie jenner yeah. still like kylie cosmetics yes or know of kylie cosmetics that's a good point i do think it's taking on its own entity and I think that it's a smart move to have both because, A, they've got to capitalise while they're popular. Well, yeah, while um, they can. But I think that Kylie would be focusing on the trendy young stuff. Instagram and makeup. And Kim will be a little bit more mature, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think that's essentially what they'll be doing. And it's just literally a way of going, hey, sister, I'm on a good wicket here. Yeah. See, Kim has had uh, makeup brands or a makeup brand like Kardashian yeah. Beauty that was a a thing so but I don't that wasn't know how controlled well by them though well originally it was and then I think someone bought the company and I think the actual like rules or the terms that they had when they sold the company was that they weren't allowed to use their name anymore yeah and they continued to do it and, and they there got was in issues yeah. about it yeah but I think that this is different though because I think since I think Kardashian Beauty failed because they didn't do it very well. Yep. Whereas I think Kylie did it well and then Kim's going to just piggyback off her success. I think so. That's all it's going to yep. be. 
All right, the next big thing that we're talking about this week, and then we'll go alphabetical, is there's a bunch of releases from ColourPop. Mm -hmm. Now, this is releasing the day that we're filming this, so it might have come and gone. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you saw it. We do have an Instagram account, and I do try to post things, so um, it's always linked down below. So if you... It's Beauty News official, but mm -hmm. if you want to see stuff as they kind of come out, sort of... Um, you can check it out there. Yeah. But essentially, they've got a new limited edition collection that's really super affordable. Mm. They've got a contour... No, highlighter palette mm -hmm. with six big pans of highlighter, powder highlighter, and it's selling for 18 US dollars. Yeah. This looks very much like Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills yeah, Glow yeah. Kits. Big time. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. I will absolutely... No doubt about it, this looks like ADH ripoff yeah. all the way. However, super cheap. It's super cheap. And I really like ColourPop products. There's a few things I've tried, I'm like, eh, I wouldn't buy another one of them. Yeah. But overall, overall they're pretty solid. I love the brand. And um, I, look, I'm not going to lie, I'm interested in this. Yeah. I don't think I will buy it because I have too many fucking yeah. highlighters. Yeah. But. I'm it, excited. Yeah, it is interesting. It's so it's called Give Me More, and yep. it's eighteen bucks. So cheap. It's pretty um, good. There's some swatches as well. Yeah. Um. Then the next thing, sorry, I orange, love the orange yeah, shade. I, like the orange I really well. love the orange shade. Um. Then they're also bringing out uh empty palettes, so mm. a big empty like Z palette style thing that fits twenty four shades, and it is ten dollars. So if you did want to pick up some of the individual eyeshadows. This is a great way to house them. I think that's great. But once again, this is limited edition. I know. Disappointing, isn't it? I know, it? I know. Do what? we make an order? <laughs> well, potentially. We'll, we'll talk about it. We've been spending so much money we on have, makeup. We have, we have. Don't even get me no, started. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We don't it. need it. We, we don't, don't need, need it. it. We don't need it. Um, and then the last thing they're releasing in that collection is um, an actual eyeshadow palette with eyeshadows that you can't pop out. Yes. So normally they're... they bring out like a quad and you can pop out the shades. This is like a, like a fully made palette, but super, super affordable. $16 and you get, tw uh, how many shades? 12, 12 shades. Yeah. And, and I like it. Yeah. It's nice A lot of people palette. are saying it's very Natasha Denona sunset palette. Big time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's got the reds and oranges, but if you couldn't afford that, $16 exactly. for 12 shades. Do um, note, though, that these are slightly smaller than the individual pans. Yeah, they do look... Yeah, yep. so they're not a full-size pan. They're slightly smaller, but I for don't the think price, that's a bad... who gives a fuck? Yeah, I don't think slightly smaller no. is bad, though, because... If you want to watch how many swatches in an eyeshadow... Exactly. Like... Up in the corner, guys. It's Jesus. crazy. Jesus. There's, like, it takes it takes a long time to finish up an eyeshadow, even if you're using it every day. So, yeah. so it's you not, know, not, a problem. not a bad thing. So yeah, that should be. That's that will sell really yeah. well. Yeah, I would say by the time this video goes up, everything is gone. Possibly. So we've got more stuff about ColourPop. Mm -hmm. um, the other week we talked about a potential collab. Yes. Um, who was it with? Karuchi. Is that how we say her name? I don't know. I don't that's know. That's how we said it last time, I think. Yeah. But um, I believe she collabed before, and then there was a hint that she was going to collab again, mm -hmm. and she definitely is. Um, on the ColourPop Instagram story thing, they were showing... Well, she was taking over and showing a photo shoot that she was doing for the new collection. Yeah. And it is the Femme Rosa collection. Mm -hmm. This is actually gorgeous. Fuck, man. This palette. Oh. Is that beautiful or yeah. what? Yeah. So this Look is the She swatches. palette, which has a bunch of neutral, rosy, taupey... Mm. Gorgeous shades. I'm I down love with these this shades. Palette. That peachy one in the corner. Such good colour. The swatches selection. look fab. And I'm gonna say we don't oh I'm just knocking the camera. Um we don't have ColourPop single eyeshadows that we swatched a friend's one yeah. and they're very nice. They are. Honestly, I would love this palette. Yeah. They're I very would nice. absolutely love it. So there is also, yeah, a, a small face palette yes. called Her. And it has a highlighter, a blush, a bronzer. Yes. I'd probably Oh, would I skip this? I'm sorry. Uh, I would skip this. Yeah. I would, but I can understand why people would buy it because I feel like the bronzer shade looks quite good. The blush shade is... I think it. I think it's too dark for me. You reckon? Yeah, if I wore that on camera, people would yell at me. <laughs> Fuck them. 
happens a lot, it guys. It does. People people get so mad. Oh, they're so mad at me and my blush. Mm-hmm. All right, what are we going on we're to gonna next? We're going to go alphabetical, and we're going to talk about BH Cosmetics. So this is a Galaxy Chic palette. I think um, it's a Galaxy shit. Well, that too. <laughs> no, no. I tease, I tease. So it's a solar, a solar flare. Solar flare, yeah. And it's just, I mean, it's just a colourful, shimmery palette. But they do look like little um, baked baked little domes, planets, mm-hmm. which is kind of cute. They do, yeah. Uh, so Mecca has done a little shout out and said that the Chloe Morello Ciate palette, uh, Pretty Fun Fearless, is a back. Um, They're not saying if it's limited edition or not. No, it just says hit the link below to grab yours before it's gone. Which will probably mean it's limited edition. Probably. Yeah. yeah so. I would say so. So if you wanted to get that, it's available. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Dose of Colours is bringing out, uh, I don't know. Something. Packaging. Something. Yeah. Gold packaging. 10 Oops. out of 10. No fucks given. Next up, we have a limited edition sheer blushing powder from Gucci. It's got a ladybug on it. I know, it's fucking cute, isn't it? Isn't it cute? Like, I'm excited to see more as this develops because I think high end and bugs, for some reason, I like the mix. I like it too. I I think it's different and I'm I'm down with it. I'm down. I'm I'm down. down. We have a little update on the. Do we need to talk about this? Well, I wanted to put this in only because we mentioned it last week. Right. Um, I was saying that I think this bright kind of true purple colour is going to be a colour of summer. Yeah. And how uh, Kylie brought out the June bug and then uh, Jeffrey brought out You Better Work. Yeah. And I, I, want, I thought this was interesting to show the comparison. Okay. Yeah. So that's just that. All right. Cool. Um, and then Jeffree Star, we knew he was bringing out a new fucking palette for yeah. fall, but... The, Reaffirmed it. Yes, exactly. Fun stuff. Um, Jouer lip glosses. It's a thing. Is that exciting for you nah, guys? Fuck no, no. I don't care. Uh, Lancome has highlighting powders that are coming out. I believe this is their. Was it their fall? No, their spring collection. So these are dual finish highlighters. They're launching in September. They're going to be thirty nine fifty each. And it looks like there's 10 new shades of the matte lip shakers. Yes. We did play with them, didn't we? We did. and They weren't matte. They weren't matte. And <laughs> I had it on my skin for about 10 minutes and the fuck it still hadn't dried down. So That was a bit infuriating. Fuck that. Those, mind you, are from the fall, the upcoming fall collection. Okay. I'm getting so confused because summer stuff's coming out, fall stuff, and then sneak peeks for Christmas. I know. Fuck, man. But yeah, those are the fall lo- uh, long com launches. Excellent. We have a bunch of things here from Lime Crime. So yep. we've got some new metallic liquid We've spoken lipsticks. about these, though. Yes. This is in the Mermaid collection yep. that hasn't released yet. yet. But these are like update yeah, photos. Yeah, these are the actual proper like marketing photos. Yes. So we've got Mermaid's Grotto. I'm going to say these photos of the products in, in the water. Pool. Fucking gorgeous. Beautiful. Well done, Lime Crime. Well done. Um, then we have, oh, what's this shade down here? Siren. Gorgeous. A lot of people beautiful, are loving this. Beautiful, beautiful colour. And seashell bra. Oh, Pecky. Yay. Uh, we've also got a look at their brushes. And the makeup bag as well. And the makeup bag, yeah. Look, I won't lie. I kind of like this whole like glitter in water yeah. thing. It reminds me of my childhood. I'm also going to say that that photo would be really hard to take because <laughs> yeah. can you imagine like that having to be like, Set it up and then place it on the water before the brushes fill yeah. with water. God, yeah. that is good. Yeah, they'd be like, all right, they'd have it sitting on something. And then they'd and then go, and go, release it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fucked. I wouldn't want to do that, but it no. looks cool. Um, then we have photos of the highlight palette that will be coming out. This is. Stop it. See, I'm not digging this. You're not into it? I like the first two shades, but if you look at the swatches, the blue one doesn't look good on anyone's skin. I, honestly, I know I don't like the formula of the Lime Crime highlighters, so I won't buy it. Mm. But I like the look of the packaging. I think everything looks really pretty, but it's not... See, I reckon I could could potentially get away with the purple, but what what my pet peeve is with the blue highlighters is when... 
it just looks blue, blue. at every angle. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it you want to just be catch a, the light yeah, blue. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree with And you. I saw that and I was like, look, that's the nail in the coffin. I'm not going to buy it. It's just blue. It's just yeah. blue. All right, moving on to MAC. Yes. We have, this looks to be a chroma, a chromo, chromat. Yeah, chromat. chromat is a brand. Right. I think it's like a fashion, a fashion brand. brand. Okay, yeah. makes sense. I'm not familiar with it, but yeah. they are bringing out... Um, a small capsule collection, so it With looks a lot to of be, blue. Yeah, it's very blue. This to me heavy. looks like Spider Man. Yes, I kind of get that vibe as well. Yeah. So there's a pigment, two lipsticks in blue and red. You've got a um, like a gel uh, fluid or, line. Fluid line, yeah. Blue mascara. There's a um, lining brush. You've got a six pan eyeshadow palette. It might be a cream palette though. Could be, yeah. And then also potentially a is that a brow or a lip uh, eyeliner whatever Could be a liner not sure. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what's next? What's next? We've Makeup. got more from Mac. Oh, we do. Sorry, this yes. is a sneak peek. What people are thinking is uh, the holiday release, and I thought this was a bit early for holiday, but other yeah. people are sneak peeking holiday, so it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Um, this is Whisper of Guilt in limited edition packaging. Yep. So a lot of people are nuts for Whisper of Guilt. Mm -hmm. um, they brought it back permanently as an extra dimension skin finish. Yep. And now this has a gorgeous snowflake design in the pan. And this gorgeous kind of like fleckle, fleckle, <laughs> freckled, fleck, speckled, speckled, that's fleck, the one. Yeah. Flecky, speckled, <laughs> what the fuck. Um, gold or copper packaging. If this is going to be their Christmas packaging. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't know what else it'd be though. Yeah. To have a snowflake in there. It's gotta be winter, but they don't bring be. out a winter collection, they bring out Chris the holiday exactly. collection. Exactly. But if it is, I didn't buy anything from their last holiday collection because I didn't like that nut crack cracker sweet yeah, thing. Yeah, I didn't buy anything either. Nah. We looked at it and we're like, We did, eh. yeah. Yeah. I looked twice and I was like, eh. Look, I'd be excited by this because I like the look of this packaging. Mm -hmm. I like the look of the product in the pan. I probably wouldn't buy this particular no, product. But they'd have a few. But if you're gonna have a whole range, like that's gonna be your Christmas. Yeah. sort of vibe I'm down for it I think this is smart though because I think I personally think that the Nutcracker Sweet one didn't sell very well and so I think they're like yeah. okay that was taking something really like it wasn't my personal taste yeah and we we went through this when the collection was coming yeah. out it was quite bold and quite I would say graphic and kind of girly yeah whereas this is a lot more Mature, mature, and but refined, kind of sleek and, and a little bit sexy. Yeah, and yeah. also kind of intriguing with mm -hmm. the snowflake design. So I think they've done like a whole like flip. Yeah, because they're just like, well, that didn't really work. Let's or we, or do we want something. it to be so different from last year that we're doing this, and yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, to me. I like it. Good I on like them. It too. Uh, Makeup forever. We've got metallic new lips. lip products. Yeah, artistic metallics. They look cool. The red one looks amazing. They do, yeah. I'm down with the red one. It looks really beautiful. This looks a lot like the NYX... Uh, oh, um, Cosmic Metals. metals yeah. Good shades. Yes, I, I love agree. the Cosmic Metals. I just don't like the shades. Yeah. Um, something's coming from Melt Cosmetics. It's called yeah. the Melt Hot Box Collection. It's coming soon. We don't know what it is. It's a summer collection. Okay. But we don't actually know anything what? about yeah. it. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about Morphe and Jacqueline. So we've got some, like, legit, like, made-up swatches. Yeah. Like, these are... So Jacqueline did put up her video where she was swatching the product yeah. and, like, raving about the product. Of course. Um, she also sent it out to a bunch of influencers, including Melbourne's Nakia Joy. Oh, okay. Now, the funny thing is... Um, I actually didn't watch Jacqueline's review. I did watch Nakia's video. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of hard. We're limited with Wi-Fi. It's a bit choppy. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's hard while we're away. But a lot of people are saying that the Jacqueline swatches that you can see on the screen now, mm. um, when she was actually swap swatching them, the editing was really choppy. Ah. So, was, she, was she doing, like, these ones where you could actually Well, let's have a see? quick look. Yeah. I don't know. We're having a look, and I reckon her swatches are legit. I think the thing is, though, they're not like one swipe swatches. Yeah. She, they were like, going back. Some and... she's like, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I like I didn't question any of the swatches that I saw. Anyway, so we don't really 
doubt Jacqueline's swatches. No. Um, and if you look at Nakia Joy's, I doubt the swatches that look really perfect. Yeah. The ones that are on the screen at the moment, I don't believe. It no. shows the colours really well and there yes. are some fucking gorgeous colours in there. The Absolutely. Purple, I think... Dead for the, the purple. I like... Uh, look, I like the colours in the palette. I'm yeah. not, not going to, like, pussyfoot around. I like it. I am still interested in the palette. If shipping wasn't my firstborn child, I would probably buy yeah. it. Yeah. So a lot of people also... Oh, someone actually... Do you see that someone contacted Morphe mm. and they were literally like... If your shipping's too expensive, go to one of the other websites that sell Morphe, like the Beauty Bay and stuff. But they don't give them the limited edition stock, no. so it's fucked. You got to pay like yeah, your firstborn child to get this palette mm -hmm. um, if you're international. But um, I think the colors are great. I think the consistency. I don't know. It's hard because Jacqueline's swatches were very built up. Yeah. And even then, some of them looked a bit dodge. If you look at Nakia Joy's video, and I'll put some swatches on the screen of some of her swatches, she even says that they, they're they quite patchy. Yeah. Um, and they're a bit powdery, the mattes. The metallics look fucking phenomenal. Yeah. But the mattes were a bit, you know, hard to apply solidly. But that's often the case with that's, mattes. It is. I it like, doesn't mean they're bad performing. It just means that they don't swatch well. Some of my favorite mattes don't swatch well, but look great on the eye. Exactly. So, I And I always say that. Like, I always say it in my reviews. They swatch like shit, but when you're actually using yeah. them in the way that they're intended to be used, they work quite nicely. Yeah. So, I'm not... Yeah. I don't really have anything to say about the palette. But there's the colors for you. There, yeah. You and I quite like the colors. colors. Yeah. I think when you looked at the actual just palette as like a photo... It looks like there's a lot of same same, but when you see the swatches, you kind of go, okay, there are differences yeah, in it. It's very, I, I, yeah, I quite like it. I like it. Uh, OPI, we've got a bunch of stuff uh, from OPI. Yeah, two collections. Yeah, so there is the Iceland collection, which is very, uh, I would say earthy, but then they're thrown in a purple. Um, yeah. But I quite like the look of this collection. I think it's um, quite nice. Yeah. And. Uh, then we have, what is this? California Dreaming. Which is completely different. And it's just like bright pinks and corals. Yeah. With a couple of nudes. Yeah. Are they shimmery nudes? Uh, I think they actually might be. Yeah. yeah. There's oh, one metallic. One metallic. So there we go. Mm. Nail polish lovers. I can tell you OPI is just as expensive in Japan as it is in Australia. Bummer. There you go. Um, Pat McGrath lovers. She's bringing out lipsticks and god fucking damn. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. They look nice, don't they? Oh my god, I want all of them. Yeah, so there's, uh, what is that, 12? No, yes. 9. Uh, uh, yeah, nine. nine. 9 shades. Let me just but double check. Yeah. can I just say that the 9 shades are like, if you're going to start a decent collection, like the shade range is pretty much perfect. Yeah. There's I three agree. nudes, mm -hmm. three bright colors, like a yep. pink, an orange, a red, mm -hmm. and then three deeper shades. Yeah. A dark, purple, like a purple, plum, plum and, and dark, vampy purple. Yeah. Yeah. They're fucking gorgeous. I want them all. They'll probably get, come in a pack and they'll cost you $2,000. And the lipsticks have little, like, lips She's on right. them. They do. They do. They look beautiful. I'm like, yeah. But I have heard, like, I remember watching Tati's review of one of the lip kits, mm -hmm. and she said that the best part about it was a lipstick. Yeah. So it's interesting that they brought out that. Like, I think it's smart that she's I bringing out a whole smart. range. And I hope it's permanent. Yes. I hope, yes. I'm hoping it's permanent. That would be lovely. It might mean we can actually get our hands on some if we ever wanted to. Yeah. Uh, Physician's Formula is bringing out... Boring. Things. Yeah, I'm blah, 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 blah. like Boring. seriously, this is just like I'm going no nice. So it looks like it's uh, their 80th anniversary collection. What? What? They've been around for 80 years. Why are they still so that short? can't be. That can't be right. Anyway, lip products, <laughs> a highlighter that looks like the highlighters the in their range. Yeah, and eyeshadow palette, quad. That looks, quad that looks like. Other eyeshadow quads in their range. I thought yeah. they'd pull out the, like something better for 80th. Oh, maybe they're waiting for the 100th. Maybe it's like their 80th. Uh, I don't know. Could it? It's a really their 80th year. I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, um, something about pout case. I, it looks to be a phone case. 
So like an iPhone cover where you pull out the bottom and it's got makeup in it. Yeah, and you can customise the and makeup. someone's dying in Shinjuku right oh. now. Maybe not. So, yeah, this, I, I don't know. It's not something that I would... No, use, I don't even know why. I, a lot of people in the group are just saying gimmick, which I think is I think fair that's enough. a valid judgment to make yeah. based off what we're seeing. But essentially it's just a phone case and you can customise, like put in different pans of makeup. But I don't know who needs to touch up a blush. Or something. Anyway, I whatever. Just, yeah, I don't get it. I don't... I don't think it's not. If this uh, takes off, I'm shame on you guys. Yeah, I don't think it's Whoever buys it, shame on you. Uh, Rimmel is adding to their Insta range. So yeah. they had the Insta fix and go. And I believe they're adding uh, contouring and highlighting sticks, uh, concealing and color correcting palettes, and an Insta fix and matte powder. Powder. Yeah, translucent powder. Yeah. So. That's it. Um, That's that. Smashbox Skin Shaping Foundation. It's a foundation stick with a contour shade on the other side. 16 shades will be available coming soon. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it's necessary, but that's alright. That's alright. Whatevs. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff from Too Faced. We do, we do. Um, but this is something that Jared was sneak peeking that's coming probably in 15 years. Um, I believe that this is a way for him to combat those rumours that since they sold it to Estee Lauder, um, that and it is no longer cruelty free. So he's releasing these little rabbit, these little bunny makeup bags. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're going to have products in them. Like I said, they sneak peek things like literally a year in advance. Yeah, they do. So they do. Someone That's did point annoying. out though that check eBay in a couple of weeks because these will be on there. So, Absolutely. you know, that's the problem with sneak peeking things yeah. too early, especially things that aren't like you worried about the um, formula. Yeah. Makeup yeah. bags and stuff you can just Doesn't make. matter. They These can be ripped off yeah. like that. So there are three little bunnies. Uh, there's a gold, a pink, and a turquoise mm. with little ears, little nose and whiskers, and then a little pom-pom tail. Yeah. And it does say two-faced. What does it say? We... Oh, oh. be... Be, be cool, cool not, not cruel. cruel. And underneath it says hashtag TF cruelty free. So it's really pushing the thing that yeah. they are still cruelty free. Um, now we've got a few other things from them as well. We talked about the melted latex a couple of weeks ago. Um, they're boring. They're fancy lip glosses. Yeah. But a lot of people were still wanting to know more about the unicorn tears one. The packaging is gorgeous. But it looks like shit on. It's really beautiful, the packaging. Yeah. But what the fuck? It's anyway. Just, why? We still have more Too Faced. The why? next thing I is know. <laughs> Jared also sneak peeked this palette and he said, I'm a slave for you, hashtag Too Faced. Now, some people are thinking that this might be a Britney Spears like collab. Yeah, maybe. She, if you go on her Instagram, she is a little bit cray. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me yeah. if she hit this up. She does yeah. these weird fashion outfit, like, try-on things. Oh, does she? Yeah, I'll show you later. It's really bizarre. But right. So, it wouldn't surprise me if she was like, yeah, Jared, why not? Let's do mm -hmm. it. Um, I want a showgirl fucking thing. Yeah. And this, it could be this. It could be. You know. We'll see what happens with that. It won't be out for at least another year, though. Yeah. They've also released their, um, I think it's their, I don't know if it's their summer collection or their spring, I think it's their spring collection. Yeah. And it is the new shades of their foundation and their concealers. Yes. Along with the melted latex that we just talked about. Yeah. And the glitter bomb palette. Yes. Plus the uh, spray, spray and powder. And powder. Yeah. So they've released this, like it's up now. Um, I believe at the moment it is like Ulta and Too Faced website exclusive. Okay, yeah. Um, but they've made an ad and they've got Chloe Morello in it. Mm -hmm. And what's that dude's name? Gabrielle Zamora. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it is... Okay, I want to say it is a pretty cringe ad, but for someone who's not an actress, Chloe Morello did all right. Did she? Yeah. I haven't watched it. I just... It's cringe as fuck. Yeah. And but that's Too Faced through and through. It is. Whenever they do anything that's, like, advertising related, it's yeah. so over the top and so ridiculous. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, it is. But, and, I, and originally I was like, why are you doing this, Chloe? But yeah. I think she 
I think, to be fair, mm. she did it all right. Oh, good. But the premise of the ad, I really, I personally really don't like. What is the premise so of the ad? So, she's bringing a guy home. Yes. And her housemate is Gabrielle yeah, Zamora. Zamora. Yeah. And she's, he's like, the date is like, you're so beautiful, you're so perfect. Mm-hmm. And she's like, <laughs> thanks, whatever. And then... um. In the morning, she kind of freaks out that she's got, like, makeup smeared on her face. Right. So she gets up and puts the foundation on and the concealer. Uh, so she's got, like, perfect skin but not looking like you're wearing makeup. And I just... I don't mm. I don't like promoting the fact that you have to wear makeup when you wake up... Next to, to a boy. To, to make a guy think that you're great. I think that's kind of shit. That's shit. I don't like it. It's a really it. fucked way to sort of empower women yeah like we've been traveling with three boys and i can tell you there's been burps and there's Mate, been fucking... my skin yeah. every single day i wake up with a new spot on my skin and i'm just i don't, I don't know how to fix this i can't fix this here mm. because this is like climate change and i don't even know what yeah and there's nothing i can do about it yeah i cake the makeup on during the day yeah because i know i'm gonna have a camera in front of my face at night i don't give a fuck no. what the boys think no. of me no like it just but that's more empowering to women Fucking that is more em- exactly do your thing and like yeah I, yeah i just i don't agree with that i don't I... think that's a healthy way to promote a product or self-esteem that you have to be perfect in the other like that's a whole thing about like guys thinking that girls deceive them with makeup and all it's just fucking no nah. i didn't i didn't like the no nah, i'm not i'm no. not into it i'm not gonna watch it because it'll make me angry uh ysl they are bringing out some fucking pretty looking shit uh so it looks to be what is this a fall collection yep inspired by studio 54 the world's most famous nightclub if you don't know what it is google it some cool shit happened there and so did some naughty shit and uh if your parents are like yeah like my mum that was like peaked in the 70s yeah so she would like love this yeah. kind of thing ask you ask, ask your mum yeah so it looks like they're gonna have some nail polishes uh i'm not sure what this thing in the pot is but it looks fabulous. Yeah. It looks sparkly and amazing. Mm-hmm. However, I do think it's going to be a cream product of some sort. There is also some lipsticks. Uh, it looks like they're re-promoting opium, their perfume. Yeah. And they also have a palette which mm, yeah, looks to be a 10-pan palette with five lip shades and five eyeshadows. Yeah. Not so sure about that, but, you know, whatevs, whatevs. There are also six liners. These are liquid liners, and I don't know. I kind of like them. Yeah, they look nice. They do. They do. All right. The next thing that we're sneak pe- oh that's has been sort of sneak peeked is um, Zoella was doing I don't know like a wardrobe organizing mm-hmm. thing on Snapchat or whatever it was, and um, she put a little like zipped mouth emoji over a perfume mm-hmm. which a lot of people take that as being that she's releasing a new fragrance in her yep. line what i find very interesting and i don't know if you'll find this interesting as well she's got like really sophisticated scents in there she like does. she's got joe malone. Jo malone yeah i think that one might be um oh fuck what's, what's that what's that fancy one that you get at mecca yeah it's like really expensive um oh god what is it it's not toka it's um but this one's also that's that Oh, see? See? Yeah. See? yeah. There's heaps of, like, fancy yeah. shit she's, in there. She's got the fancy shit going on here. She's got expensive taste, fancy mm-hmm. shit, yet she releases lolly water. She does. So, I, that is clearly placed there because yeah, she's releasing it, not because she uses it. She's doing a little sneak peek. Yeah, but yeah. she doesn't... Uh, Look. So different yeah, to what she releases. I, I agree with you. I totally hear what you're saying. She does have expensive taste in perfume, clearly. Um, but then releases and then ch- children's fragrances. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. It is what it is. Um, last thing, Zoeva is bringing out a palette. Yeah. Uh, or is it two? No, it's one. It's one it's palette one. and then a blush and a highlight. A highlight 
thing with it's some called brushes. offline yes offline collection what do you think of this palette i think it's nice i like it too to be honest i think it looks nicer in this darker photo so do i yeah i'm i'm wondering if uh this one like the contrast is turned up a little bit or the or sorry, the other the, one's taken in a shadow brightness yeah maybe looks like they're also we'll releasing see. a brush kit to go alongside yep. it four brushes hmm interesting hmm. but wasn't this doesn't this cheek palette look very similar to the one they released um, with that pastel range? Yeah. Yeah, like except dolly pink and potentially then potentially a little bit like darker, deeper in yeah. yeah in the tones, but still like fucking punch you in the face, bright pink, pink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it does. It's not for me, but oh well, whatever. Um. Anyway, that That's is a it. long episode. Mm -hmm. I will be editing that on a flight home, no oh. doubt. But um, yeah. We're filming this one a little bit early, so if we have, we'll probably have a lot to talk about on Monday, mm -hmm. but we'll be back into it, into the swing of things. Um, if you have any thoughts on any of these collections, we'd love to hear them in the comments. Yes, let us know um, what you think. And what emoji do we want? Yeah, I was thinking an aeroplane, but I think we already had one. Yeah, I think it might have to be drinks. All right, so drink emojis, and we will see you in the on next Monday. one. Monday. Yes. Um, but also, do keep an eye out for all our Japan content. Mm -hmm. There will be at least th two or three more vlogs. Yeah, I'd say at least three more vlogs. Potentially more, depending on... We didn't film much here at the moment, though. No, we Maybe haven't. two or three more vlogs. Yeah. And there will also be just some random trying on... Trying some makeup products yeah. and hauls and stuff. So we will try to pad out... In July, though, yeah, it would be yeah. Japan month. Japan month. Yay! Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.